Hi friends, I am Sai Jitanya. Welcome back to my channel Sai Tech Core. In this video, I'll be uh, telling you how you can actually install the Oxygen OS in this Hydrogen OS uh, OnePlus 8T device. So right now, I'll be trying to convert the Chinese uh, ROM into the global ROM. So as you can see, friends, right, let me try to uh, show you in the about phone. So you can clearly see right now I'm using the Hydrogen OS here. And this is a Chinese variant, which is a KB2000, as you can see here. So right now, I'd want to install the global ROM in this particularly uh, Chinese ROM variant. So a lot of users uh, who did buy the Chinese ROM, so definitely they are looking into the upgrade into the global ROM version. And right now I'll try to explain what are the step-by-step -step process you need to follow in terms of the installation of global ROM in this uh, Chinese ROM uh, variant. So let's get started friends without wasting any time. So first you need to go to the official uh, OnePlus uh, website. So uh, this is a website uh, which is a uh, OnePlus 8T uh, global ROM support. So once you are into the global ROM support uh, pages, you will be welcome with the, all the different kind of uh, variants. And first you need to select the OnePlus 8T uh, model. So in case if you are watching first time this channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel friends. And also do check the links in description for recently uploaded videos on the OnePlus 8T. You can find so many videos on the OnePlus 8T as well. So make sure to check those videos in case if you want to know more details about this uh, OnePlus 8T uh, device. So um, here you need to download this particular global ROM variant as you can see here friends. So uh, try to download the particular uh, global ROM variant and the size will be around uh, 2.70 GB as you can clearly see here. And once you download this uh, ROM, so make sure to uh, check your current version. So right now this global ROM version is of 11.0.6.8. Uh, my current Chinese ROM version, which is hydrogen version is of, I think, uh, let me try to quickly show you. It's 11.0.56 uh, as you can see. So the version, the Chinese ROM version and the hydrogen, hydrogen OS uh, version should be uh, less than the oxygen OS version only then it will try to uh, allow you to install this particular update so in case if you uh, already updated the latest uh, hydrogen OS version so no need to worry wait for the next uh, global ROM update and try, at that time you can actually uh, directly download and install the particular global ROM so uh, always the global ROM version should be higher than the Chinese ROM version so always make this uh, possible only then it will allow you to install so once you download that uh, particular uh, uh, file so then you need to go to the downloads and try to uh, cut from the downloads and paste in the root folder so which is in the normal section so try to paste it here and once you paste you can see in the top I did paste it here so these are the two uh, ROMs which I downloaded one I downloaded in the December but this ROM variant is a uh, slightly uh, lower than the current Chinese ROM so that's why it did not allow me to down uh, install so right now just uh, I think uh, two days back I received the global ROM uh, latest version and this allowed me to install so once you download you need to click on that application on that file and go to this uh, three dot and rename so try to delete the uh, final word which will be saying the jar file so try to delete the jar and just uh, make it as a zip file so once you've done that one so next uh, go to the settings and uh, go to the system and go to the soft system updates and as you can see i did not update to the latest version so as i said don't update uh, your chinese rom version in case if you are looking to uh, install the global rom so don't need to update every time so this will actually help you a lot so now go to the local upgrade as you can see friends this is the first one is a lower version this will immediately uh, uh, pop up the message like saying that version of your selected package is lower than the current version so always uh, this kind of scenario will happen so remember uh, that don't update the uh, chinese rom version every time so keep as it is and wait for the global rom version for the higher number so that is what i did so this is a higher number right now so this will allow you to install this particular way uh, global rom as you can see friends so right now so as soon as i click the file it says install now so most of the data won't be deleted during this process as a safe site try to back up all your photos contacts messages and the personal few things so let's get started friends with this uh, update right now so let's see how much time it actually takes to complete uh, the installation process i'm very curious to see how much more time does it does it uh, actually take here so that's why i got kind of a stopwatch ready as well so let me try to click install and right now the version is trying to install getting installed so make sure to charge your phone to the maximum so right now the battery percentage is of 53 percentage so always try to keep the battery percentage more every time you do this kind of installation of the software updates 
So right now you can see your friends the installation process is going on uh, throughout this time. So once the installation is completed, it will try to uh, display the message. So uh, trying to reboot now. So finally, this is a way to convert the Chinese ROM variant to the global ROM in the OnePlus 8T. So this can be also applicable to the any other uh, OnePlus devices as well. So I can be back uh, once the installation process is done. As you can see, friends, it took about uh, seven, close to seven minutes to completely install uh, this process. And now, now let me try to uh, reboot the device. So right now, let's see, friends, overall this process takes how much of time. I'm still continuing the stopwatch here. So this is a OnePlus 80 device, as I said. So let's see. So um, will, will I be welcome with the global ROM or not? As you can see, friends, the phone started to reboot uh, again. So let's see friends uh, what will happen right now whether it will try to install or not again. So because when the phone is on it right uh, it, it did try to install a couple of uh, services and right now the phone is trying to reboot and um, let me see the animation what it's up to. I'm thinking it's uh, it, it did convert to the oxygen OS. So that is what uh, this no notification and animation mean this kind of animation I do usually see only in the oxygen OS uh, smartphones. So I'm just waiting for the phone to be completely uh, rebooted and so that I can start the stop the this stopwatch so you know exactly how much time. So I think overall this process might take close to 10 minutes of time for this installation of complete uh, Chinese ROM to the uh, global ROM variant. So, so many users they will definitely wait for the global ROM to install in this Chinese ROM so that's a, another a good advantage here. So in the OnePlus devices, you just need to install the file and that's it, everything will be done. So right now, as you can see, friends, the animation has been completed. And overall, overall I think it took about uh, less than nine minutes of time, complete time to install all these uh, things. So let me try to quickly uh, show you the what is the settings right now. I am welcomed here. As, as I can clearly see the difference as well from beginning to right now. These are about phone. And you can see, friends, the Oxygen OS successfully installed. So this is a complete uh, depth in-depth tutorial friends. Uh, this is how you need to install from the hydrogen uh, OS to the oxygen OS as you can clearly see here. So uh, this is quite um, easy way to do. So no need to worry about anything routing or not. So just download the file and make sure your uh, normal Chinese ROM variant is always less than the global ROM variant. Only then you will be allowed to install. So otherwise you won't be allowed to install uh, definitely you need to remember that um, thing as well and thank you friends uh, for watching this video and see you in the next video for more interesting uh, videos and make sure to comment below what are your thoughts so uh, that's it friends until then bye